All right. Uh, what's up, everybody? It's been it's been a while since I've done these long form content type stuff, the ones where I like go into depth into uh, a lot of these things. But you know, I'm gonna try my best this year, 2024. I mean, it should be 2024 soon. But I'm gonna try my best, and uh, uh, you know, no promises. But I want to at least try to do like once a month or something. You know, I got to. I got to. You know. But anywho, uh, today we're doing the ultimate fruit tier list. Um, I chose this list specifically because it had a lot of stuff and I've tried a good amount of these. So, um, you know, I'm super excited for that. And uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot here that I haven't, but. I think I've tried more than I haven't. So like I feel like the the never had list is going to be like real low. But you know, hey, at least in a way it's going to help me uh figure out what I could what I could try in the future. All right. So, uh let's start off with the standard, the basic, the fruit that a lot of people know, the green apple. Now, green apples personally not my favorite. Uh it is sour, which I like sour candies and stuff, but green apple is not one that I like as much. But, you know, it, it's not a fruit that I crave, but like if I had it, like sure, I'll eat it. But it's not something that I'm like, yo, I have to have myself a green apple right now, you know? So because of that, I'm putting it at C. And personally, I prefer the red apple. So the red apple is actually going to go above. Okay, now apricots. Um, uh, this is an insider thing. This is my third take. Now that I was like looking more through them, I saw, I think I got this confused with the nectarine. Nectarines are the ones that I have a lot of. Apricots I have here and there. So originally I had this in A. But that's not going to be the case anymore. I'm actually going to move it down to B. I like them. I enjoy them. I enjoy them more than, more than apples for sure. But I don't eat them as often. But I every time that I do, I know that I like it more. So that's why I'm moving it to B. The only reason why it's not higher is because I don't eat them enough. So that's why I don't think it should be in the top two. In terms of taste, and I'm I'm going based off of taste, not like... And it, oh yeah, I guess anything else because I'm not yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna factor like you know like apple juice or like other products. I'm just we're just gonna talk about the fruit itself. Like no, like I'll mention artificial flavor, but I'm not. But that's not going. I don't think I'm gonna use that to influence me to move. You know, here and there. Okay, so uh, here's gonna be the first hot take. All right. As a Californian boy, I do not like avocados whatsoever. I think it tastes bad. Textures, there's nothing wrong with the texture. I, Cause you know, it's like, it's smooth, right? Like who does, you know, but in terms of taste, it's one of those things where like uh, some people will tell you like, Oh, it doesn't taste like anything, but I'm the type of person where like, if I taste something and I really don't like it, it kind of like, I don't know what the word, is, but like it, it like really shines, not not shine, but like it, it's overpowering of how bad it is to me. So like, I don't like it, but I do eat sushi, and sometimes, or a lot of times actually, they put avocados in there, and I'm too lazy to like just take it out, so I just eat it. But like, I know every time I like take a bite, I don't like it at all. So. I'm not going to give it an F because technically I still eat it, but I'm going to give it a D. That's the highest it will go. And that's, it could go to an F if I like, if I absolutely hated it, like there's going to be some fruits up here, uh, upcoming that I do, it would, it, then that would be F. But, but for now, I'm just going to put it D because technically I still do eat it, but it's just not my, I don't like it. Bananas. Okay. So bananas. I think tastes good, um, but I can only eat like at most two a day, 
other than that, I, I don't think I can eat anymore because there was a time where I used to eat bananas or like my, my parents would get bananas like so often. And then like I would, you know, I would just eat. They would get it so frequently that like I just got tired of them. But lately, it's been a while since I've had bananas and I like them. So I'm actually going to give them an A in terms of taste. I, you know, like I said, I'm not going to use artificial flavor as like a you know to help with my my choices here but in terms of artificial flavor i do not like banana it's terrible i don't like banana shakes or the only other banana thing that i'm okay with is banana bread that's good but other than that not really uh something that i would go for but like in terms of the fruit itself like i'm always down to eat a banana nowadays especially so in terms of taste, bananas are good. Blackberries. Okay, so this one's going to be interesting. A lot of these berries, I haven't really eaten on its own that often. So, but yeah, and like, yeah, this one's tough because like I've been drinking a lot of these like sparkling waters and they're like blackberry or like raspberry, you know, like it has all those, but I'm not going to count that because that's different. <clears throat> that's different voice crack and so that's different so based off of the fruit i like the taste but i'm gonna go with the same thing like the apricot because i don't eat them that often it would be unfair for me to put it higher so i'm just gonna put it as a b okay so here's the first one i've never tried black currant uh all these ones that i haven't tried i'm gonna like write it down somewhere so that i can at least try them one day because i'm curious like I've never even heard of them, so, like, I don't even know if we even have them, or if, like, they're in season, or, you know, whatever, but, you know, someday I will, uh, I'll try them. Blueberries, okay, now, blueberries, I think, same reason with, uh, blackberries, I don't eat them, uh, like, that often, and I'm gonna tell you, like, a quick, a quick, I don't know if story's the right word, but a quick thing, um, growing up, my favorite color is blue, right? But it has nothing to do with the, the color of the fruit. But, like, when, whenever I saw stuff that was, like, blueberry, I tr when I tried it once when I was younger, I was like, oh, that's disgusting, right? Like, you know, the artificial flavor. But, so then anytime anything that was artificial, I would always avoid blueberry or, like, anything blue. So blueberry was one of them, right? But then I had the fruit. I mean, like, you know, of course, like I've had a blueberry muffin and those are great. But I don't know if that should count towards like, you know, the fruit itself. So I'm just going to count it as if like, you know, if I. Yeah. So like just as the fruit itself, I'm going to do the same with the blackberry. I haven't eaten it that often. But when I did eat it, I was surprised with myself of, oh, it's actually not that bad. It's actually pretty good. So because of that. You know, now just to be clear, C's are like, yeah, it's going to be like, I've tried them, but like, they're not like my go-to. So, uh, I, cause then maybe I might like do some rearranging afterwards just to see if I like put too much of like, cause like, for example, right? Like this blueberry blackberry thing, I'm actually thinking about bumping it down to a C, but then like. Because they taste good, but it's just I don't eat them that often. So it's like, you know, and, and they're, they're not really like my go to like, oh, I have to have them or like I like look out, look for them or anything. So like, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to decide. Apricots, I've had more than these two for sure. So that's why I, I OK with just leaving that here. But these two, I'm like thinking about putting them to see. But, but the problem is if I put it with here, the green apple, it's not. Green apples are are fine, though, but these are, like, I would say they're better, you know? So, I don't know. We'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay, so, the first S tier coming, cantaloupe. Your boy loves cantaloupe, man. My parents used to get these for me all the time, and they would cut them into, like, not cubes, but, you know, like, cut, cut, cut. Oh, fudge. That's going to make a lot of noise. I already know it. So, apologies. But, uh... Yeah, they used to buy cantaloupe all the time. I used to eat it all the time. And anytime I, or not anytime, but when I was younger, when I used to go to buffets, I would 
eat cantaloupe. Like, it's one of my favorite fruits of all time. It tastes great, you know? So, yeah, in terms of taste, like, that's that's kind of where it's at. That is, like, for me, S tier. Okay, so here's, here's another one. Um, so, I'm used to eating, I don't know what they're called, but the white coconuts, right? That's the one I grew up with. I don't know if there's like a difference, if they taste the same or if they taste different at all. So, um, like I mentioned, um, not going to talk about the artificial stuff, but like the, uh, the is it coconut milk or coconut water? Whatever the drink is in the inside, I like it a lot. The white one, we like... Uh, they used to cut the top off and then we just put a straw in there. You, we would just drink it. And then sometimes we would eat the insides. But like I said, it was the white ones. Um, some coconuts, though, they have like a weird, weird flavor. And like the texture is like. It's hit or miss. So in for me, like I've never had a brown one, so I can't. I can't I'm not going to go based off the brown one. I'm going to go based off the white one that I grew up with. Uh, I'm gonna go with C, just like the green apple. Like I'll eat it if it, if we have it, sometimes. But major like most times, I'm like, eh, I, I don't, I'm good. Like I don't really need to eat it, so I'll just pass on that. And then cherries, I do like cherries. Cherries are very good. If there was cherries that didn't have seeds, I mean, it wouldn't make sense. But that'd be great, you know. So cherries. I do like a lot, and I'm going to put it A to you. Cranberries. Okay, so this one, cranberries are fine, um, just like these two. Haven't eaten much of. Have I? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I have. So because of that, I'm going to put this one at C, just because they taste okay from what I remember. I'm just going based on my memory, but they taste fine, but they're not something that i crave often like i like cranberry juice but like i said you know we're not doing that so we're gonna put it here just as the fruit dates dates are okay uh i'd rather prefer raisins that's that's my go-to but dates are okay um yeah but like i can only eat like a small amount of i do like them over avocados for sure but I don't know if I like them over a green apple. So I actually I will put a D tier. Okay, here's another C tier one upcoming. So um I don't know if disclaimer is the right word. But I grow dragon fruit. I have it in my backyard. Um they're actually like weirdly easy to grow. Um from what I remember, if you if y'all seen dragon fruit like the um how it grows it's like a very like cactus like fruit let me see if i can like pull up a picture for y'all plant okay they kind of look like this um that that's the inside and stuff but yeah kind of like this like this cactus looking thing so from what my parents told me and and stuff you could just cut off like if you just cut here so you just have this piece you just have to like put it in like soil and dirt and stuff and then you just water it and it'll just continue to grow it's wild like uh when i was younger i had to build these like makeshift like things i, I don't know what they're called but I had to like build these makeshift things so that it would it would like hold the plants up because naturally they don't have they're not like trees right where like a tree will have you know like the the bark and like the the main part and then it grows out the leaves. This one it's just that it's just that. So it's like imagine like if, this is gonna sound like a weird analogy, but imagine you're like you know watching like a pirate movie and it's like krakens you know you know the kraken like they put out their tentacles and like they grab the like pirate ship and stuff so imagine like the soil is like the same as like the ocean and then it's just a bunch of like long 
you know, tentacle looking, but like cactus like things. So it's just like that. So there's no way to actually for it to like stand. Like, at least this is my house. Okay. I'm not talking about like other parts of the world, but so because it doesn't have it, we have to build these like structure things so that like when it grows, it kind of grows so that it stands. And then you just like pick pick the fruit off yeah and there's a lot of like um like spikes on them so you know if you don't pay attention you will hurt yourself so pro tip um yeah so anyway dragon fruit um it's exotic for sure it's not something but it's it's also not one of my favorites so i'm actually gonna put it at a C. I i think it's fine like i'll eat them once in a while but if 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 i didn't have them anymore i wouldn't miss them you know like uh, but yeah dragon fruit way better than avocado and i would actually have it over a date durian okay here's another controversial one a lot of people don't like durian because of its smell i have a bad sense of smell but i still can smell it's just it works sometimes and then sometimes it just doesn't but but that's beside the point durian uh Maybe it's the way that my parents used to do it, but the way they used to do it, it didn't stink or it didn't have a scent, if that makes sense. Um, and once in a while when I go to Costco, I'll, I'll like get some durian, but I like it. Personally, I like it a lot. It's actually going to go A tier for me. And I know, but like I said, I know for a lot of people, they're more sensitive to smell. So like they will smell it and it will, and to them, according to them, it stinks. But to me, it tastes fine. It tastes great, actually. I like it a lot. I like its soft texture and, and stuff like that. But, but yeah, like, I don't know. Like, because, you know, you hear a lot of stuff of, like, how it's, like, banned on trains. And, like, you just, you know, you can't, like, bring it to a lot of places. And, like, people are, like, really against the smell. But as someone who's, like, never actually smelled it. Because, like I said, I don't know what my, what, what my parents did. What I do remember is, like, they would cut it and then, like, put it somewhere, like, outside or something for, like, a day or two. And then we would get to eat it. So, or, like, maybe it's just a couple hours. I don't even remember. Like I said, I don't remember. But that's what they used to do. And then once, but once in a while, we'll go to, like, a Costco or, like, some Asian place. And then, like, they'll have it already, like, cut and stuff. So, like, you don't need to actually buy the fruit. You know, because I've, I've seen them, like, cut it with, like, a giant, like, butcher knife. And it's just oof you know but in ter like i said in terms of taste i do like it so it's pretty good now figs i don't think i've ever had before um yeah i don't think i've ever had a fig before so i'm actually gonna go here i've had like fig newtons but like like i said i don't think that counts because i like fig newtons those, those are good but i've never had a fig like on its own same with gooseberry i've never even heard of gooseberry but that, that does sound fake. <laughs> that just sounded fake, but who knows? That's actually a thing. Okay. Ooh. Potentially a controversial take here, but I absolutely hate grapefruit. I don't like it at all. Mine's not red. The one that I, I used to have one in my backyard. It wasn't red, but it was like... It wasn't yellow. But it was like, uh, it definitely wasn't red. It's like the other color of grapefruit. If you guys have seen grapefruit, the other color, that that's the one that I've had or that I grow. And I hate it. It tastes awful. I know there's a lot of, like, a lot of people in my family love grapefruit and, you know, good on them. It was, it was my biggest tree, like, for sure. But I hated it, girl. It's just like, I don't know what it is. It just tastes bad. It just tastes bad. <laughs> And I, I, I don't know, but you know, like, yeah, like I said, like my grandma liked them a lot. Like whenever she would um do like her, like pray or stuff, like, cause you know, a religious family, right. For the Buddhist stuff, they, um, my family was like the designated, like, oh, we got the fruit, like we got the grapefruit and we always, cause we always bring it and like the shape of it looks nice and all like it, it looks appealing, which I think was one of the main reasons why my parents chose grapefruit out of like the others but 
uh, but like I said, in terms of taste, I do not like it at all. It, I just think it tastes bad. So, sorry, not sorry. <clears throat> okay, now, this one, red grapes. I love them. Grapes are amazing, dude. I love grapes. Even the white grapes. I don't eat these ones as often, but they're both S tier. I love grapes. Like, I know the, the good thing about grapes is, like, they come in a bundle like this. So, like. Once in a while, you get like a bad one. Like, oh, that one sucked. But like most of it, it's pretty cool. For me, it's like, <laughs> I guess I like think of it as like popcorn, right? Like, you know, it's like the type of food you just kind of whatever. It's like popcorn to me, but like, you know, a little bit healthier. A little bit. But I, I, I just prefer grapes over, you know, I, I, I like grapes a lot. Preferably seedless. Ooh, a seedless grape is out is like top tier. The ones with seeds, it sucks because, you know, you got to spit it out all the time. But, you know, potato, potato, right? <laughs> no, but for, but for real, I, I like grapes a lot. Here's another one that I enjoy eating a lot. I eat it a good amount. Not as much as these three, but kiwis. Like me a taste of kiwis. I love kiwis. They're good. They're very good. I like it. Okay, so here's an interesting thing. Here's the next one in terms of, uh, I grow lemons and limes in my house, which, like I said, that has nothing to do with what I'm about to say, but I don't eat lemons and limes, right? Like I like lemon and I like lime, but I don't eat them. I don't think anybody like just eats them. So like now I'm confused. So like. I, I guess I didn't actually like, you know, looked at it like too much, but um, yeah, I don't know. I guess I have to put them at C because, you know, like, like or, or like a D even because in, in, in terms of like eating it, it sucks. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like it, but, but I love lemon and lime. Like I, you know, use it to like, use on food like if, if you count that yeah i'll just put it like down in the middle i'm gonna go with c because i use it i use it but i don't eat it like straight up so i don't know okay here's a good one lychee uh lychee i do like the flavor of lychee but like i said that's not going to that's not going to affect my score but in terms of just eating lychee i think it's okay or I, I like it a lot. I like it. So, yeah, I'm going to give this one a solid B. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's good. I think it's good. Okay. Ooh, this one's easy. S tier. Mango is S tier, my dude. Preferably, I like the mango that's like soft. There's two types of mangoes and I can't and I always get this wrong and like can't differentiate them. But there's ones that are like like according to the picture, this one is like super soft and that's the one that I like versus there's like mango that's like more hard or more like stiffer, you know, like so when you eat it it has like kind of like a crunch, but not really, you know what I mean? So uh but like I would still take that over most fruit, so like, you know, no big deal. Holy field, you know. But mango is definitely S tier. It is one of the, it is one of the greatest. When it comes to the S tier though, it's hard for me to pick like which one's my favorite. But uh, yeah, man mangoes are great. I love them. Okay, so the one that I got uh, apricot confused with was nectarine. I eat this one and peaches a lot. So I'm actually going to put this as A tier. It's good. But it's the, the seed and then like how like dirty my hands get after it. Ugh. And messy, you know what I'm saying? So I'm actually going to put peach along with it. Like, I, I like them both, but because peaches are, are more. Okay, actually, here here's a good, um I don't know if an analogy, but peach is the more firm version of a nectarine. Nectarines are way softer. But this one has, has a crunch to it. 
So actually, oh, they they might be S tier actually. I like them a lot. But I'm gonna, I'm looking through the the rest of the list. Uh, I can only see. Okay, actually, yeah, I will bump it up. I like them. I eat them a, a, a fair amount. So there was a person who gave us like a box full of them, and I destroyed it. Speaking of oranges, same thing. I like oranges. They taste good. Uh, a lot of Asian restaurants, or not a lot, but like a, a a good amount of the like family style Chinese restaurants specifically, they always give oranges uh, out as like dessert, like when you're done eating a big meal, and then they give out oranges and oof, they always they don't always hit because sometimes they 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 got a they get a bad orange, you know, and they still give it to you anyway. They have the audacity to still do that, but but it's good. I like oranges. They're great. They're it's more at the bottom of the S tier, but it's I just prefer them over these. Papaya. Not a fan. Don't like papaya. Don't like the taste of it. It's I don't know how to explain it. It's better than grapefruit, but I also would never want to eat it. You know, I had it once in a while, or maybe just like like a small handful of times. Grapefruit, I always think to myself, like, maybe it's like, maybe I just had it at a bad time. Maybe this, maybe that. I always, like, came up with, like, a lot of excuses. And then, but every time I ate a grapefruit, it was just awful. Papaya, though, also, yeah, I just, I don't like it. But, like, you know. Okay, so here here's the next one that's a little controversial is not the right word. But this one's just like lemon and lime. I don't eat passion fruit, but I love passion fruit. If that makes sense. I don't eat it as much, but I like the, the you know, I drink a lot of boba. So it's like anytime I get like a green tea, it's always either passion fruit or mango. Those are my go-to. Or peach. Peach is my third one. But, yeah, I've... <sighs> I've eaten it once and it was good, but yeah, you know, I, 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 okay. I think it's safe next time. If there's like some kind of artificial flavor list or something, I'll, t I'll try to find it, but, um, passion fruit over. Yeah. I would say over these two, cause as a fruit, I think it tastes better, but as like an artificial flavor, it would, it would be S tier, but unfortunately, but we're doing it based off of the fruit itself. So I'm going to go with that. Pears. Pears are like green apples to me. They're fine. A Korean pear is really good. So like this one, real A tier. I'm just going to skip through the line. Apologies. But yeah, A tier. Who we? The, the regular one is it's fine, but this one is where it's at. It's like a good crunchy apple, but like to me, it tastes a little bit better than an apple. If y'all haven't tried an Asian pear, you should. It's, it's good. I, I say it's better than apple. Persimmon. Ooh, this one interesting. Okay, persimmon. I I don't know if I've eaten it as much. And if I have, I don't remember if I liked it. Like if I did, I I'm, I must have thought like, oh, it was fine or it was okay. But according to the list, I'm. I I don't know if I've never had this though. Cause then if I have, I would give it a D. But I think just to be just to be sure, I'll put it at I've never had this. And then try it again. And then see if I if I like it, you know. Okay, ooh, pineapple. Pineapple for me, it's I'm thinking either S or A. I like pineapple. The downside to pineapple is if you eat too much of it, it, it makes because it, it has so much acidity acidity it makes the inside of my mouth bleed because i that's how that's how <laughs> that's how much pineapple i eat but also pineapple does belong on pizza anyone who says otherwise is wrong so i'm gonna go s i do like pineapples but it's more the this half is more at the bottom of the s tier the first four are more on the higher end of my s tier and oh speaking of plums plums are pretty good I don't eat them as much, but I like them a lot. They're pretty good. They're on par. Yeah, they're like green apples or red apples for me. 
Don't eat them as much, but I like them. Pomegranate. Pomegranates are good too. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, I also grow pomegranates in my house. Once in a while when I do get to eat them. Because a lot of times, you know, people like to make, you know, like juice out of it or whatever. But when I do have it, it's good. But like, yeah, it's just like the way you eat it is just a little weird. Not really text. I guess like texture wise, not really my favorite. But in terms of taste, not bad. Pomelo. Have I had a pomelo before? Uh, let me see. The picture's a little too small. I can't really tell. Yeah. Oh, it's the ancestor of the grapefruit. Okay, well, I'm not going to do it based off of um, my hate for grapefruit. So I'm actually going to put this here. Raspberry is going with the other berries. Um, I, I think this one does taste better than cranberry. Red currant, never had, and let's just the uh, yeah any of the currants never had, uh, never even heard of them. So I'm just gonna do that. Star fruit, ooh, another one that I grow, and another one that I do not like at all. Not a fan of star fruit. It just it's sour, and but not like sour like a green apple but it's more sour like or like a what what's it yeah it, it has a dang it's been so long since i've had it but i'm yeah it it is sour but it's not like super sour but it's like it's sour in a way that i just don't like it it's hard for, you know now that i think about it it's hard for me to even talk in depth about these fruits because trying to i i don't even know what to even say so like that's the that's the part that confuzzles me but um they look interesting and that's cool that it, it turns out like as a star but mm -mm, don't like them at all i would yeah, i don't even like avocado but i'd rather eat a date over that any day and oh okay this one's tough i used to like strawberries a lot and i still eat them but the problem is a good strawberry is a very good strawberry, but a bad strawberry is a very bad strawberry. But I'm looking through the list and okay, I was originally gonna put it I was gonna originally put it at C, but no, I gotta give it some more respect. I'm gonna put it at a B. Tangerines are like oranges to me, so they're just smaller. So I'm going to put it there. Ooh, okay. Another potential, another hot take. I do not like watermelon at all. And now I know I say a hot take for like <laughs> anytime something bad, but a hot take, I guess, from earlier, pineapple does belong on pizza. But anyway, yeah, watermelon. Do not like it. W the weird thing was watermelon to me is like cheese, right? Like when I was real, real young, uh, I used to eat it all the time. And this is like elementary school ish. Yeah. So like I said, watermelon and cheese, same thing. I used to eat them both all the time. Not together. All right. Let's make that clear. Not together, but I used to eat it all the time. And from what I've learned, I don't like them. And like as I not from what I learned. As I got older, I realized, oh, I actually don't like it. It tastes bad. Like something clicked one day. Like I just went to bed, woke up the next day, and it's like, because I used to go to a private school and they used to have watermelon on, they used to give out watermelons on Wednesdays, every Wednesday. And I would eat it, right? And thought it was good. But then, like, yeah, just one day, I think once I got out of uh, private school, but that was only there until like the, like the first half of second grade or something. But once I did that, um yeah like just one day i just woke up had a, had a slice of watermelon it was like oh this is disgusting and i've tried it here and there a couple times and oh just make, thinking about it, it gives me goosebumps Ugh. but yeah and i would have it and i would find out like oh no this is not good don't like it at all so um yeah that was a that was a thing didn't didn't like it anymore um and also uh yeah, same with cheese. 
don't like cheese except on pizza that's the only time it's okay and uh, uh chili cheese fries and cheetos i guess if you count cheetos and doritos but but um yeah anyway this has nothing to do with cheese but we're here to talk about watermelon and i do not like watermelon anything anymore this is real bad all right uh ooh, honeydew I already put the S tier version up here. Honeydew is the opposite. It is D tier. Don't like it as much, but I would eat this over any of those. Guava. Guava's good. Guava's pretty good. Um, but it's not something that I eat often. I think guava for me is like dragon fruit. They're on par. Yeah. Cause I don't I don't think I would pick guava over these, but I would over here. Blood orange. Never had it. Looks weird. Custard apple. Uh, I keep uh closing my in uh, my like research tab. Uh Okay, Cherimoya is another name for it. I've had this, and it's okay. Not my favorite, so I'm going to go with D. Because I don't think it's on par with these, but... Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I grew these, or if I just... um, Or if I just had it, like, a couple times here and there. And it was fine. It's not something that I'm like... You know... No, that's not true. I think I, I, think I do like them. See, trying to remember, because, you know, it's been a while since I've had a bunch of these fruits. So it's just, yeah, it's just me trying to remember if I like them or not. And I think I do. Yeah, I'm going to put it at, at C. Uh, okay, here we go. This one here. I'm actually going to put all the ones I haven't tried. Oh, Rambutan? That one, isn't that like lychee? Oh, also, they spell this one weird, but... Oh, sour cherry. I've never had a sour cherry, but I've had regular cherries. Okay. Yeah, Rambutan. Uh, we'll just say haven't tried because because of the name. I thought it was the same as lychee. It looks the same. But I don't know. Okay. I actually had this recently, and let me tell you, Mangosteen is pretty god dang good. I think it's A tier. Oh, and uh, Kumquats. Kumquats, not my favorite. I used to grow them. Um, didn't like them that much. Mulberry. I have an aunt who grows these. And I've eaten them. And they're really good. I'm going to give them an A. They're pretty good. It's weird because... Yeah, of all the of all the berries... This is the one that I've... I don't want to say... Had the, I had the, I've had strawberry the most. But strawberries, like, for me, like... They got to a point where, like, I don't love them anymore. I don't know what happened. But something made me, like, just not really like strawberries that much. I mean, I still like it because it's B tier, but yeah, something about it, like, it, it just got worse. But, like, I'll still eat them once in a while. And, like, yeah, that's a, you know, a good strawberry, though, hits very well. But mulberries, from my experience of eating them, have been really good. She used to give us a bunch, and I don't remember what we used to make out of it, but do we do something? Like, do we make, like, a juicer or, like, a smoothie or something? I don't remember, but eating them, they taste good, so. Okay, here's um another controversial hot take. I love raisins, dude. I love it. People call me old for liking raisins, but they wrong. Raisins are the best. I love raisins in my bread. You know, I'll go to like an Asian bakery and I'll look around and, and like, okay, good. They got the, like raisins is one of the key ingredients I look for when I go to an Asian bakery. I go, oh, this one has raisins in it. You bet I'm going to eat it. I love raisin too. And when I used to go to like elementary school, I don't know if you all remember those little square, the sun maids, I think what they're called, the, the lady, the, the raisins. When people didn't like them, they all gave it to me because I love raisins, dude. Because they're like grapes, right? They are grapes, but they're just more, you know, pruned. But pff, I love raisins. They're great. Okay, and then jackfruit. 
I like jackfruit. Don't eat it as much, but I would say, yeah, I would say it's on par with uh, with that. So, and there you have it. I'm gonna re re look through this list to see if I want to change anything. Cause yeah, tangerines and oranges are same for me. Um, mulberries good. Mango steam's pretty good. I had it like a month or two ago. It was pretty good. Cherries. I might bump cherries down just because the seeds, but but no, that that's kind of unfair, huh? Bananas are good, but just the fruit. Jackfruit is pretty good. Jackfruit it tastes a lot better when like somebody did all the work for you and you just have to eat it. It tastes so much better. Um, but I don't eat it as much anymore. These things are usually pretty pricey, I think, at an at a Asian supermarket. Most of these, like this one, you find Asian supermarket. I think this one is more specifically in a Korean supermarket. Maybe you can find them in, like, Asian supermarket. I don't know. I don't really, like, go to the supermarket to buy fruit. But, um, but you won't find this at, like, you know, like a Ralph's or, like, a Target or anything like that. Like this one, too. I think this one, people also say it has a smell to it, but... I, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it's just durian. Like, because durian's the big one that like people really don't like. But I I might be wrong about this one. Maybe I'm just like used to like Asian scents or something. But I'm a big jackfruit guy. But looking through this list, I think it's a pretty solid list of mine. Yeah, looks pretty good. Like I said, this one, these two, this is a weird one. I would have never thought of these two, but because like I, I would have I I would make another one, but I feel like that's just unnecessary, so I'll just put it there. Because I use these a lot, it's just I don't eat them, but they taste good, right? Like, you know, if yeah, I wonder maybe like after this, I want to look for like artificial flavor or like smoothies or something. Cause like some of like some of like this one, I wouldn't drink it. I would just eat them, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't drink raisins. You know, some yeah, like mango, I would drink. Peach, I would drink. Orange juice, come on, who doesn't love orange? Like apple juice is great, but like if 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 these were all juices, apple juice is way up there for me for sure. Strawberry is not really a flavor I mess with a lot, but like Fanta or like you know anything of that caliber, it's pretty good. But yeah, I like this list. I think it's pretty rock solid. So, okay. Um, that's going to be it for today, I guess. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, I'm going to try to upload this as soon as possible. But uh hope you all enjoyed my list. You know, let me know what are some of your favorite fruits. Uh, let me know some of the fruits that you don't like. Uh... And if you would recommend any of these to me from the never had, which one if, if I should try first, and, you know, tell me if, uh, you know, if you got any hot takes, if you got, uh, you know, if you agree with my list, I don't know, maybe, you know, you know what you guys thought, you know, all the comments and whatnot, but, uh, no, uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to get this up by January 1st, 2024. So, uh, but thanks for watching. Hope y'all have a great evening. Hope hopefully y'all have a good or great 2024. I hope I am as well. I'm looking forward to it. Not going to lie. And, um, uh, you know, Hey, don't forget to subscribe, comment, you know, like I got it. You know, I heard it, you got to start saying that stuff out loud. Actually, you can't just have it on the, you know, like on text, you have to actually verbally say it so i'm gonna try doing that from now on so thanks for watching you know like i said hopefully you like subscribe comment you know all that mumbo jumbo and uh because it'll, it'll help it'll help out a lot we we've just hit uh 300 subscribers by the end of the year which was a goal of mine so you know thank you and shout outs to everybody who helped me get there but our main goal is 1000 so we gotta we gotta we gotta up those numbers you know but uh, thank you all. Thank you all so much. Uh, I super duper appreciate it. Uh, I stream every day on YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. But you know, since y'all are here on YouTube, I'm just letting y'all know I do stream on YouTube. So if y'all want to come by, stop by, you know, 
if you came from this video, I guess you can let me know. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's going to happen later. Um, but thanks for watching. So I super duper appreciate you guys. And like I said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next month with another one. That's my goal. It, it might not be like tier list making. It might be like something else. But I'm hoping to do more long form, you know, offline stuff like, you know. But anyway, that's it. See you guys.